Metal Detection It may be difficult to differentiate metals and minerals at first. In some measurements, you may take the minerals as reddish in color. You can see results corresponding to metals to your left and to non-metals to your right. While metallic objects are irregular in shape, minerals are typically scattered and broad. Metallic objects are red and minerals are typically yellow or orange in color. The most important characteristic that separates metallic objects from minerals is the numerical difference in data between it and the soil. To see these numerical values, click on the data icon in your application. Grid lines and the numerical values will appear on the graphic. There must be at least 15 units of increase on the graphic between the soil shown in green and metallic objects shown in red. For example, if the soil reading shows 200, for it to be a metallic object, the reading must be at at least 215 in value. If the difference is just a few units, it is a mineral. If there is a big difference between soil and magnetically susceptible objects, there is a high chance it is a cheap metal. For example, if the soil level is 180 units and the magnetic object is 300 units. Metal objects that have been buried in the soil for a long time can be detected more easily. Precious metals like gold and silver can only be detected if they are buried along with metals with magnetic susceptibility. 